As we know with Asia, many of the countries fell to communism with the divided Republic of Vietnam and Democratic Republic of Vietnam becoming the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. In Cambodia, it would go from the Khmer Republic to Democratic Cambodia and then go back to the Kingdom of Cambodia. The Kingdom of Laos becoming the Laos People Democratic Republic, the Republic of China to the People's Republic of China, and the division of Korea along a 38th parallel with the Communist Democratic People's Republic of Korea in the north and the Democratic Republic of Korea. But there were a few countries that won the wars against communism, Burma, now known as Myanmar, and Thailand. In 1948, the Communist Party of Burma started a rebellion against the Union of Burma, along with the Red Flag Communist Party and the Karen National Liberation Army. The rebels would set up in the countryside and wage guerrilla warfare and capture the city of Pie, and later form an alliance together as the political group that the KNLA fought under became more Maoist. In 1962, the military would overthrow the government led by General Ne Win, and it would become the Socialist Republic of the Union of Burma. After some failed talks between the communists and the new government, the new government went on a reign of terror, executing dissidents and political opponents, as China was doing the same thing around the same time with their cultural revolution. During that time in the early 1960s, the Communist Party of Thailand and their political allies from Vietnam and Cambodia had been assassinating people in power until 1965 when they launched a smaller insurgency with 13 clashes in the summer of 1965. The government combated the communists by arresting any that were suspected of being communist and destroying villages. The Royal Thai Army would massacre suspected communists and continue that cycle of brutality throughout the 1970s. In 1988 in Burma, the 8888 uprisings occurred which were protests against the government, police brutality, corruption, and failure of the ideology that the government attempted to uphold. In September, a coup occurred in which the socialist government was overthrown. Two years later, now known as the Union of Myanmar, it had its first election since 1960. The National League for Democracy would win the election, winning 59.9% of the votes. The government that took over in the coup, known as the State Peace and Development Council, refused to validate the results and put the winner of the election, Aung San Suu Kyi, on house arrest. Also around that time, the Communist Party of Burma was weakened after a large-scale mutiny by its members and, en and it ended the insurgency. In Thailand, their insurgency ended when the government signed Order 662523, which ended the harsh practices of killing and torture, and instead opted for a more peaceful approach with addressing the problems that were in Thai society, as well as allowing more political participation and democracy. The order allowed many Communist Party members to defect for amnesty, resulting in a rapid decline of the Communist Party of Thailand. Due to the Communist Party being banned, the size of the party is unknown, but there has been no reported activity since the 1990s, so it's been mostly irrelevant in the current constitutional monarchy. Currently in Thailand, their Prime Minister is Prayut Chanocha, and he is a part of the United Thai Nation Party. In Burma, Mient Sui runs the country as president as the military junta overthrew civilian rule. So while Thailand never fell to communism, Burma was temporarily a socialist republic, known as the Socialist Republic of the Union of Burma. There were other communist insurgencies that failed in Asia, mainly in the Middle East and Japan. We will talk about those at another time. Who knows, maybe even next time. But I just wanted to thank you all so much for watching. The poll has spoken, and I will be doing my remaster of the iceberg soon, but I either need to take a hiatus from making videos to finish it, or finish it slowly over the course of a month or maybe so. So whatever time so yeah be on the lookout for that i will figure all that out but thank you guys once again uh also there's no face cam right now because like i'm a mess as of as of recording this so uh yeah sorry about that but i'll see you all in the next video so hit that like button subscribe if you're new and hit the bell button good night everyone adios amigos assalamu alaikum shalom alaikum